I was the first Indian restaurant in North America of my kind. When they saw Indians selling burgers, they called names. The young crowd would call, hey, Packy, you know, make me a burger. So one day I made some hot sauce there and I called a guy named Andy, who was a bully guy around this neighborhood. They say, hey, Andy, would you like to have a Packy burger? Four letter words. And what is this? I said, well, try it. I mean, it's complimentary and I'll give you a pop also. And I put the hot sauce on it. He took a first bite and he was all red. Oh, freaking good. This is very good. You know, what the... And the, his abusive language and whatnot. And he ate the whole burger and had four Cokes with that. Lineup of the students came over from this neighborhood school from Ashdale. Hey, give me one Packy burger. Give me one Packy burger. And we started selling Packy burger like crazy. In 1975, I came over here. There was an Indian theater, it was called Nas Theater, at 1430 Jura Street East. That drew a lot of crowd. That was the first Indian joint, you know, where the people could come. And the Nas Theater used to show on the weekends Indian movies, which could draw people from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, or Indian subcontinent. There was a need of some Indian snack bar, and I was in that profession, and I decided to open up the Chart Hut. That really took fire. A few other restaurants came, and a few sari places came, and people from coast to coast, not only from Toronto, from Hamilton, suburban cities, whoever the Indians were, they started coming here. So it became a hub of Indian community. We had little difficulties at that time, misunderstanding of people or uh, the neighbors. I mean, they saw overcrowded with the Indians and all. There was a kind of racial tension a little bit. Broken homes, laid back people, I would call redneck, not welcoming among the foreigners or other people or so. But eventually those people, they moved out from here for some reason. And more professional or yuppie crowds started coming in here. Yeah and the neighborhood was drastically changed. Indians, they are not the fighters. They didn't come here to fight. They were here to have fun and have their businesses. We invited neighbors to taste our food, wear our clothes, and so on and so forth. And people were interested, and people started accepting it. They were curious about the Indian cuisine. The people started buying the groceries, the spices, to experiment at home. Eventually, it became a a very big family. I started Barbecue Hut in 75, and I had it all the way till year 2000. And it was the neighborhood place, you know, the talk of the town and meeting place and having fun and game. After that, I made, I mean, about five restaurants. I brought my family here. I brought a lot of people. I created employment and whatnot. But I was very sick. I gone through a couple of operations. I wanted to get out of it because I couldn't handle it. it. Became very hodgepodge. So I decided to move out from here and start working as a consultant for about 10, 12 years. And I survived. Staying at home is not my cup of tea. I'm a workaholic. I came over here and this place was available. I took over and started again. Demographically, it's been changed. Uh, it used to be very, very, very busy. But when I came back and I saw it's all gone, it's vanished. But Girard India Bazaar is the hub. I mean, it is worldwide renowned area. And when I talk to the neighbors or business people, they say, after 9-11, the thing's gone real bad. It used to be the tourist attraction from U.S. and not many tourists are coming from U.S. anymore to Canada, so it has hurt quite a bit. Media could help or the local government could help, 
which we are not getting that kind of help anymore. And I don't see that Toronto is doing anything to maintain the cultures. Taxes have gone sky high and the city is not promoting small businesses. Because we do need the local people also to come in. And which is very good if the cafes are opening or yoga places are opening or it does attract rest of the crowd also. And we are not only Indian based business. We are now multicultural. 30 years or 35 years ago, case was different that we were depending on the Indian businessman. But more than 80% of my clients are the local people who are not Indian, non-Indian people. And they like curries and they like Indian food. And they come here. I think, I mean, we will survive. We will be there. It may increase more. I mean, more people are going to come here.